Good evening. My life today for November 27th. The reading is entitled, With Christ-like words and deeds. The scripture reading is taken from Matthew 12, verse 37. By thy words thou shalt be justified, and by thy words thou shalt be condemned. When you do your appointed work without contention or criticism of others, a freedom, a light, and a power will attend it that will give character and influence to the institutions and enterprises with which you are connected. Remember that you are never on vantage ground when you are ruffled and when you carry the burden of setting right every soul who comes near you. If you yield to the temptation to criticize others, to point out their faults, to tear down what they are doing, you may be sure that you will fail to act your own part nobly and well. This is a time when every man in a responsible position and every member of the church should bring every feature of his work into close accord with the teachings of the Word of God. By untiring vigilance, by fervent prayer, by Christ-like words and deeds, we are to show the world what God desires his church to be. Christ humbled himself to stand at the head of humanity, to meet the temptations and endure the trials that humanity must meet and endure. He must know what humanity has to meet from the fallen foe, that he might know how to succor those who are tempted. And Christ has been made our judge. The Father is not the judge. The angels are not. He who took humanity upon himself and in this world lived a perfect life is to judge us. He only can be our judge. No one of you has been appointed to be judge of others. It is all that you can do to discipline yourselves. We have a character to maintain, but it is the character of Christ. May the Lord help us to die to self and be born again, that Christ may live in us, a living, active principle, a power that will keep us holy. Thank you for listening.